Welcome back guys to another Bee Swarm Simulator video. Yes, I know it's been a while since I've decided to make one of these because there's honestly nothing else to do if you don't macro since Bee's Mass is hella delayed. But here I am again making another video for you guys and this video I would be rating every single bee in Bee Swarm Simulator. Although this is kind of a guide for anyone who isn't an endgame yet and anyone who isn't focusing on a hive color yet. So let's get right into it. First bee we got is the basic bee. Honestly, one of the best bees possible if it's gifted. If you don't have it gifted, honestly just get rid of it. So once you have the gifted, I'd say this is a 10 out of 10. Next bee is the bomber bee. Amazing early until mid game. And even until now, I still use it even if I'm a blue hive. So I honestly rate this around a 10 out of 10 as well for early game until mid game. And if you do decide to go blue hive, it's pretty useful to have one of these guys gifted. For the brave bee, I, th I don't remember if I used this in the early game, but it's pretty useful for red hives. But aside from that, I'm not sure if you really want this guy in your hive, unless you want to go damage. So I'd say this guy's around a 4 out of 10. The next bee we got is the bumblebee. This one is amazing because it just gives you raw art capacity once it's gifted and it gives you blue bomb. It's not it's not the best if you're not a blue hive or but it is really useful for early and mid game. Next is the cool bee. Amazing bee for early until mid game and even if you're a blue hive you definitely need this guy because of his hive bonus and it gives you blue boost which just gives you a lot more blue ball in. The hasty bee, it's it's pretty good. If you want to move faster, you'd probably want two of these guys in your hive max with the gifted hive bonus. But aside from that, he's pretty useless. I'd say he's around the four or five. For the rat bee and the rascal bee, both of these are actually really good. No matter where you are in the game, unless you're trying to pick a color that isn't red. So I'd say these two of both of these bees are around 9 or 10 as well. Stubborn bee. Very situational, honestly. I think this is really only going to shine if you have a blue hive for the blue for the gifted hive bonus. But aside from that, I'd say this guess maybe around 4. Same here for the Bucklo and Bubblebee, these two are pretty amazing for the Gifted Hive and for Blue Hives in general. But these two are pretty good and useful as well for the early and mid game. I'd say these two are around an 8 and a 9. The Commander Bee however, it's really good if you have the Gifted Hive bonus. If you don't have the Gifted Hive bonus, I'd say you maybe want to keep one or two of these only. You don't really need that much since you'll have other bees. And you'd rather be focusing on honey or pollen making rather than doing damage. For the demo B, honestly, you really don't need this guy. Great, this guy is 0 out of 10. You don't need him anywhere in the game. For the exhausted B, I'd say he's pretty useful. If you want the token link, aside from that, I don't think you need this guy. Because the white field capacity, let's be real. You're not gonna be farming on white fields for that long. Fire bee, same thing here. You really only want it if you have if you're going to go red hive in the end game, but for the early and mid game I'd say this guy's pretty useless as well. Frosty bee good pollen making. Blue bomb pollen for the gifted hive bonus and it gives you blue boost and the blue bomb, so I'd say this guy's pretty useful this unless you're going red hive. In the end game, of course. Next, we have everybody's favorite, the honeybee. Of course, this guy is a 10 out of 10 if you want to just see his face. Aside from that, if you are using the honey mask, the honeybee is actually extremely useful. But aside from that, he's the same. It's pretty useless. Rage bee, here is another situational one. If you're going red hive in the end game, it's really good. But if you're going to go early and mid game, I'd say maybe have one of these gifted, but that's about it. You don't really need this guy. 
for Shock B, you actually want it even if it's white pollen because it gives you 25% white pollen rather than a capacity one. And it gives you token link and haste, so it's a pretty good B, honestly. Now moving on to the legendary bees, we have Baby B here. You obviously want it gifted, but the Baby Love is actually really useful despite whatever color you are, unless you're red again. Or white, I'm not sure, but you definitely want this guy for the baby love. For the early game, it gives you 2 times pollen and increased loot lock, so why would you not want to have this guy? I'd recommend getting around, getting around, say, 3, so that you can have constant baby love up. 3 or 4, it's really up to you. Then we have Carpenter B. This guy used to be so good back in the old days, but right now I don't think you really didn't bump this guy. You don't even need his gifted ability, he's pretty useless now. Demon B. Really good in the early and mid game because of the gifted hive bonus. You're gonna be using a lot of bomb bees in the early and mid game, so I'd suggest having this guy gifted. And if you don't have enough red bomb producers, you can use this guy, but I wouldn't recommend spamming him around your hive. Diamond B, same thing here. You really just want it gifted for the convert rate. It's insane. But if you don't have it gifted, I just say get rid of it. Lion B, another one of these random bees you don't ever need. So you don't need this guy. Unless you want to go attack, but it's pretty useless as well. Music B is one of the best possible bees in this game right now, combined with the buoyant B, but we'll get into buoyant later. For, so the main reason for this guy being so meta right now is because of the amount of macros in this game. So you should it be around 40,000 players and honestly I'd say around maybe 30,000, 35,000 of those are literally just macros. So yeah, this guy's pretty good. Next we have Ninja Bee here. He's really good for Blue Bomb and Haste but if you really want any of these others i think the other bees are better for the early and mid game but this guy is really good for blue hives at least shy bee here i'm not sure if you really need this guy but it's better to have it gifted obviously for, so that you can go for your ssa later on but i guess this guy's not that bad you can probably use this guy in the early game as well now onto the mythic bees like I said a while ago, these buoyant bees, they're basically really meta because of the amount of macros there are in the game. Or if you want to go blue hive, then yeah, buoyant bee is obviously the best possible blue bee right now. Fuzzy bee, having one of these gifted is insane. Unless you have the fuzzy alts, but these those are way too end game. We're going to be talking about early and mid game only. So have one of these guys gifted and you should be set for the rest of the game. Precise B is actually extremely good, no matter what color you are or wherever you are in the game. You want multiple ones of these, so if you do get one of these in the early game, definitely keep them. Don't replace them. Spicy B is very situational. It's more of like the buoyant B, unless you're going for a specific color right away. You just get the gifted one for the SSA and that's about it. You don't need this kind of your red hive. Same thing with the tadpole B pretty useless i'd say unless you have it gifted once again but it's not really that useful aside for unless you have the ssa for the blue hives vector b situational once again because these mythic bees are mostly all end game and this is the best white colored bee so i'm not really saying that you need this but it's okay to collect a few i guess Unless you know you're definitely not going white hive, then you don't need this guy either. For the event bees, having the bear bees obviously 100% worth it. It's a 10 out of 10. There's no, there's nothing else to say about it. Cobalt and Crimson, these two may help you in the early game, but I didn't really use them that much. And I guess you can buy them or you can just save your tickets. Digital B, 100% you need this well, but obviously it's way too difficult to do that, so don't even bother. Festive B, amazing during Beesmas. Outside of Beesmas, I just like having it for fun. That's about it, to be honest. I mean, occasionally you can get lucky. I have gotten multiple star jellies, and that's about it for this B. Gummy B, 100% you want this guy. Same thing with the Bear B and the Basic B, you just make more pollen. It's a 10 out of 10. No, nothing else to say. 
Photon B, insane early game though. Photon and Tabby B right down here. These two are insanely good for the early game and mid game. You definitely want both of these. It doesn't matter what... I guess it does matter whichever one you get first, but in the end, you're gonna need both of them gifted. So it really does Nobody really cares whichever one you don't get or get. Puppy B, only useful when you're leveling up your hive. Don't even get this guy unless you're near end game. He's really useless aside from that. You have your vicious bee that I still have until now because I don't macro, so I genuinely think this guy is not that great for macro, uh, non macroers, but you can definitely keep him. I use him just to speed up the mob kills for like the stump snail, the uh, tunnel bear, those bosses definitely do do them all the time, and this guy just helps speed it up so much. So I just have this guy right now. Windy bee, amazing bee. You definitely want this guy, definitely do your uh, wind shrines, make sure to donate them constantly if you still don't have this guy. And yeah, that's about it for the bees. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more videos.